Hello everyone, my name is Anil Pudala. So today we are going to discuss about unit number 4, Input Output Organization, lecture number 27. So here we are going to discuss about standard input output interfaces. So let us see standard input output interfaces. Now the processor bus is a bus defined by the signals on the processor chip itself. So each of the processing contains a processor chip. So the processor bus it can be defined by the signals which are generated on the processor chip itself. Devices that require a very high speed connection to the processor may be connected directly to this buses. Now, which device, if, if you want to have a data transfer with high speed connection, the processor will may be highly connected to this type of buses, such as the main memory. Now, the motherboard usually provides another bus that can support more devices. So the, the two buses are integrated by a circuit which is called as a bridge. So it translates the signals and protocols of one bus into those to the of the other. Now there are three widely used bus standards. So this PCI, SCSI and USB. So the below figure shows the way these standards are used in typical computer system. So here you can see there is a bridge that is used to interpret the, uh, the protocols from one bus to another. So there is a Processor bus as I told it is defined as the signal generator on the processor chip. So the bridge, as you can see here, so the PCI standard defines an expansion of the bus on the motherboard. So when you go to the PCI bus, it has an expansion bus on the motherboard. SCSI and USB are used for connecting additional devices both inside and outside the computer bus. So, so the SCSI controller there is a SCSI bus for you. So it can be used to connect disk controller, CD-ROM controller. Okay. The SCSI bus, when you see it is a high speed parallel bus intended for devices such as disk and video displays. So especially SCSI bus is used for video and disk displays. Now the USB first is serial transmission to suit the needs of equipment ranging from keyboard to game controllers so the uh, USB bus are used for mainly game control to or internet connections an interface circuit enables devices compatible with the earlier ISA standards okay it also shows a connection to the Ethernet so you can see there is a connection to the Ethernet so it is Ethernet is nothing but the local area network which provides high speed connections so in this video we have studied about different standard input output interfaces. Thank you.